to meteorologist Aaron Moran live in Waxahachie. And Aaron, it's been so long, I feel like, since we saw any rain, but you are tracking the chance for some storms. Right. We are watching a complex of storms up into Oklahoma, and we're expecting some of that to make its way into North Texas overnight. And I do think the rain and storm chances will likely pick up a little bit, even as we head into Tuesday. For now, we are dealing with partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies here in North Texas. It's helping to keep temperatures a little cooler, though humidity is still very high. We've got that dew point at 72 degrees. So Dallas Fort Worth sitting at 90 right now, but it feels like 97 degrees, and that's kind of the general trend across North Texas this afternoon. Upper 80s and low 90s across the region. And then most of us are feeling as if we're in the mid and upper 90s. A couple of spots even right here in Waxahachie feeling like the low 100s, but it feels like 104 in Mineral Wells compared to places like Sherman, Denton, McKinney feeling like 93 to 94. So Overall, the cloud cover is helping as far as the heat and humidity is concerned. We're watching those showers out to the west, but that's not even what we're anticipating to be the biggest rainmaker over the next 24 hours. It's this complex of storms impacting Oklahoma right now. You can see it generally tracking to the south, southeast. So this is likely going to arrive after sunset tonight. I think we'll start to see some of our more northern and western counties seeing this as we head toward 11 p.m., even right around midnight tonight. For now, we're just going to watch to see, do we get a few more showers to develop, maybe even an isolated storm to the west of I-35. That's where we're seeing the rain at the moment. But as we head past sunset, we get that complex of storms to sink farther south, and it's approaching the Red River. So we get to 11 o'clock tonight, and you can see Graham seeing some of this rain to the west of Bridgeport as well. Not really quite toward Bowie just yet, but as we head past midnight, we start to see showers moving even into Denton County, calling County as well, so we'll be watching for that. And then watch, watch what happens as we head into tomorrow morning. If you do have to head into work, maybe running into some heavy rain. Denton County into Parker County, Wise County, seeing some of that rain as we head towards 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. And then we just kind of have more widespread shower activity through midday. But once we get into the afternoon on Tuesday, with that daytime heating picking up, we'll likely start to see a few more showers and isolated storms popping up. I don't anticipate severe weather. I do think there could be some gusty winds and certainly some heavy rain with this rain on Tuesday as well. So that's what we're going to be watching for more than anything as we head into Tuesday. The possibility of seeing a decent amount of rain accumulate across North Texas. Some places only picking up trace amounts, while other spots may get closer to two, maybe even two and a half inches of rainfall. And I think at this point, everyone's just kind of hoping, hey, Hope that downpour just kind of lands right over my house. We have not seen a ton of rain for July. We're still doing okay for the year as a whole. We're still in the positive. And we do have rain in the forecast, not just for tomorrow, but for the next several days. We've got it at 30% on Wednesday, 30% on Friday, and then we begin to dry out, though a little bit of cooler weather in store for us for the weekend. Brooke? Aaron, thank you.